So last year, I made an extra $60,138.78 simply by putting a camera in front of what I do every single day. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Andre Morales. You can call me J Clipper Hands, and I'm a barber. I've been a barber for about nine years, and in those nine years of cutting hair, I've started to post on social media teaching people how to cut hair at a high level. And last year, through posting content, on YouTube, I made an extra $60,000 on top of what I do from actually cutting hair and my other streams of income as well. So currently, at the time of this video, I believe my YouTube channel is about 378,000 subscribers. On Instagram, I have about 215K, and on TikTok, I have a little above 200K as well. And I don't say that to flex, but I say all that to say I did it just by putting a camera in front of what I do every single day. So in today's economy, we're all hurting, you know, for everybody from the top to the bottom. We all would like more money, especially in these times where inflation is high, everything is upcharged. And what I want to show you guys is it's not as complicated as you might think. Is it easy? No. Simple? Yes. A lot of us think in order to make more money, we have to put in a whole bunch of hours, we have to start a new business, find another job. But what if I told you, if you pull out your phone with a little tripod and record what you do every single day, obviously depending on your job, you can make money, extra money at that, right? Really at no extra cost. So for me, when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't start with the intention of making a lot of money on YouTube. I just knew that I learned how to cut hair on YouTube and I felt like when I was conf confident enough to teach people how to cut hair as well, I wanted to do that. But I started to figure out little by little as my following grew, there's a lot of money to be made online, right? And obviously you're not gonna start off by making the five to seven K that I make um, off YouTube every single month, but little by little, you can add a couple hundred dollars here, another thousand here, and little by little, five years later, I've had my channel for about six years and I've built it to where it's at now, right? But I didn't start there, I started off making $50. I was like, man, I can make $50 in one month off of posting these videos that I like to do anyway. Then that turned into 100, then it turned into 200, then 500, then 700, then 1000, right? And we keep we keep on scaling that. So if you feel like you're capping out, right, in the current job that you do, majority of people watching this video are going to be barbers because I post barber content, right? If you feel like you just want a little extra income on top of what you do as a barber behind the chair, what I encourage you to do, right, is pull out your camera, put it in between the haircut and you, and film what you do. There's a lot of different ways that can look, right? It can look, come out as a tutorial. It can be a lifestyle vlog. Um, you can just be simply doing a voiceover or a haircut without really teaching people how to do it. And you can build a following, right? And are you going to be good at the beginning at posting content? Absolutely not, right? You're, you're going to suck, just like anything. When you first started cutting hair, you sucked. Right, if you're watching this and you don't care, when you first started your job and you were training, you sucked. Right, but the more you do it, the more practice you get, the better you get as well. So all that to say, I need you to start. All right, I need you to start. Are you gonna start off making a 60K a, 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 a year off of YouTube? No, but you can make an extra thousand. You can make an extra two. You can make an extra five. Right, how many of you would love to have a $5,000 raise at your job? Everybody, right? That is like uh, uh, an extra three to four dollars that they can pay you an hour, you know. But if you can do that while at the same time building a brand, right? Building awareness around what you do, the opportunities are endless, right? Because we don't just post YouTube videos and that's it. What you also build is a community, right? When I first started my channel, I obviously started at zero, and six years later, I have almost 400k, but that happened little by little. And like I said, my intention was never to just make a lot of money and have a lot of followers. I just wanted to give back, but it started to grow. I started to share what I know, right? And the thing is, as a byproduct of posting content consistently, which if you are, I suggest on YouTube posting once a week with shorts throughout the week, which is very manageable, you know what I'm saying? But as a byproduct of you just putting a camera in front of what you do every single day and posting it online, what you start to do is you build a following right? You build a platform, right? And with that platform, eventually what you can drop is digital products, stuff that you can put out online that in return 
for what you put out for free, the value you give out for free, a lot of your supporters will buy in order to support you or just have a little more access to it where they can go more in depth and learn more. You know what I'm saying? So really, as a byproduct of you posting these YouTube videos, right, that are free, that don't cost you much time, right? Obviously, there's going to be a learning curve when you start making content and posting online because you have to learn how to edit. But you can keep it simple, right? Just simple cuts, put together clips, post that online. And then, like, like I said, you'll get better over time. But something that really shouldn't take you that much more time than what you already do, right? Because you're just recording what you do. To post online for free and then you build a following, you can put out a course. You can put out an ebook, right? You can charge people to join a community where they have direct access to you. And that could be another form of income. Recently, I dropped Jay Clipper Hands Academy, right? Because for years on YouTube, I dropped tutorials, tutorials, tutorials. And a lot of you guys start to ask really in-depth questions. And unfortunately with YouTube, if I want videos to perform well, they have to be entertaining. They have to be stuff that people want to watch, right? But in order to go more in-depth for quote-unquote the more boring stuff, I created an online academy where those people can join a community and have direct access to me and ask questions in order to go more in-depth in their haircut haircutting journey, you know what I'm saying? And it's been a blessing. You know, I charge $200 for the course. I've had about 100, 178 people join. You do the math. On top of the YouTube, on top of what I do, I'm um, cutting hair, right? So it's been a blessing, right? And like I said, I'm not, I'm not doing this to flex numbers. I'm doing this to show you that it's possible, right? That all you have to do is start. The hardest part is starting. Right, starting the YouTube, starting posting on Instagram, starting posting on TikTok. And not even to mention, if you make the decision to post long form YouTube videos, what you have the option to do now from that 15, 20 minute video is break up little clips in that to post on Instagram Reels, to post on YouTube Shorts, to post on TikTok. And the thing is, you can get paid from TikTok, you can get paid from Instagram through Instagram bonuses, and you can also make a, a, a little amount of money off of YouTube Shorts. You know what I'm saying? You can monetize that way. So that is the benefit of YouTube. YouTube is something that they call evergreen content, which means content that lives forever because YouTube is a search engine. Now, don't get caught up in trying to get like the fancy equipment, the nice camera that I'm using, because if you go to my old videos, you'll see I use my old iPhone, what, 8? I think I started with an 8, and then I went to the 9, the 10, the 11, the 12, and whatever we're at now, and then I have a camera. And most of you guys watching this video probably have iPhone 10 and above with shoots in 4K. So what I need you to do, whether you cut hair, whether you cook, um, whether you cut grass, put a camera in front of what you do, post the content, figure out if you want to be an educator, if you want to document your lifestyle, or whatever, right? Do you want to teach? Do you want to entertain? Do you want to show people what you do? Like, figure that out, post it online, um, and you have the opportunity on YouTube to make money. And little by little, Right, you'll get into the details of YouTube and how to grow, but the most important part is starting, right? And you have the opportunity, right? My 60,000 that I made last year, and I believe this year, um, I'm already at 30K, which means I'm definitely gonna hit the 60. And if I have a really good month, I'm gonna make over that. You know what I'm saying? We're halfway through the year, and, and that money that I made last year is nothing in comparison to some other YouTubers that make millions, that make hundreds of thousands. You know what I'm saying? I'm only sharing that I made that last year and this this year to show you that it's possible. That you can build a platform, that you can build a community, that you can then send to other digital products that you create. And you can make a lot of money all while doing what you do. Right? A lot of people try to jump on every little thing that can make them money without focusing on one thing. But I always say, um, it is not seven streams of income that make you wealthy. Right, if you can focus on one, maximize that and find different ways to pivot um, from what you already do. Like I cut hair every day behind the chair. So what I'm gonna do to add another stream of income is document that, record that, post on YouTube, make money from that. Now I dropped my online course. You know what I'm saying? That also makes me money. Now I have TikTok that pays me. And now I can go teach classes that can also pay me, right? That's already like four to five streams of income all coming off me recording what I do every single day in the barber niche, right? I didn't have to go to trading. I didn't have to go to anything outside of what I do, which is barbering, what I know best, right? And at some point, you build enough capital 
So go ahead and invest in another business, right? In another venture and continue to grow. But it all begins with starting, all right? Starting. So if you want to make extra money, right? In this crazy economy that gets more and more expensive, stop. You don't have to ask for a raise. You don't have to find a new job unless you don't like what you do. All you need to do is put a camera in front of what you do every single day and post it online, right? And you have the opportunity to make a lot, okay? Now, if you want to go uh, more in depth in your haircutting journey, join Jerry Clipper Hands Academy by tapping uh, the link in the description. Um, or you can continue to watch other videos on my YouTube channel where I teach you to cut hair at a very high level. But I hope this video helped you in some way, shape, or form. If you want more like this, drop a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, I will catch y'all next time. Peace.